If you believe the United States Treasury Secretary robots won't be stealing our jobs for 50 years at least, I personally do not believe our U.S. Treasury Sec Secretary. Although it's not a magic bullet to solve the robot apocalypse, one way to possibly robot-proof your life and to boost your resume is to learn to code but what is the best way? Joining us to talk about this is Quincy Larson, founder of Free Code Camp. Welcome to the show, Quincy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so tell us what Free Code Camp is and who is it designed for? Sure. So Free Code Camp is an open source community where people learn how to code and then they practice by building real world projects for nonprofits. Awesome. So um, you started it by yourself? Yeah, I started it in my closet in San Francisco. <laughs> I just kind of sat down and started hacking it away at it. And uh, I tweeted about it a whole lot. And I blogged about it a whole lot. And slowly but surely, people started coming. And uh, we have a very active chat room and an active forum. And I just tried to kind of stoke that flame and sustain that critical mass. And now our uh, team is, is three people. We've got a fully remote team who build this. And then we've got about 600 open source contributors and thousands of other people who are helping out by leading study groups around the world and by contributing, you know, Creative Commons assets, uh, like images and graphics and stuff, and, and just helping us improve our infrastructure and our community. So I read that you've attracted uh, over a million students. How many, uh, do you know how many have actually finished the program? So we have about 200 who've completed the entire first 1,200 hours of online coursework. So everything is basically interactive coding challenges, and people work through that. And then we have about 800 hours of building projects for nonprofits. Uh, we don't have anybody who's completed all 800 hours of that because people all get a job way before they finish that. We've had about 5,000 people who've worked through at least part of Free Code Camp who've gone out and gotten their first jobs as software engineers. Awesome. So I got to say, Quincy, I really love this idea. Uh, I learned how to do some basic web coding when I was a teenager. And I was lucky because I had people around me, uh, um, my father and, and some folks that worked with him to actually walk me through this and take away the intimidation factor. For someone who's looking at this and sees just start coding. It's free. That can be a bit intimidating. Where should people start? And 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 how do they jump into this? If you're if maybe they're watching and they're just a little bit scared of the idea. Well, Free Code Camp is designed with adult learners in mind, and the assumption is that people have not coded a day in their life before. Now, at the same time, Free Code Camp is completely self-paced, and you can jump around in the curriculum. So if you have some more, if you don't need to learn HTML, if you learned that uh, a long time ago and you just want to jump straight to learning more advanced JavaScript or Node.js or React, you can just jump right ahead to that. And uh, we offer a bunch of different uh, free certificates. And if you complete those certificates, you can, you can put those on your LinkedIn um, or your resume. And um, basically to... In order to obtain those certificates, you just need to complete a few key challenges. You don't actually need to complete everything. So it's really designed with flexibility at the forefront. Uh, that said, again, totally fine if you've never coded a day in your life. About two-thirds of people who joined Free Code Camp, they hadn't coded before they started. Is it appropriate for someone who is working a full-time job? Yeah. It, so because it's completely self-paced, um, you can literally dive in and everything runs in the browser too. So you, we have people who work through it on their phones, people who work through it in the public library, depending on their availability, just wherever you can hop on a computer, if there's a browser, you can work through it. And almost everything is like a really small challenge that you can do in like two or three minutes. So we've just got hundreds of these interactive coding challenges. And if you work through those, um, then you can just kind of jump in as time permits. Awesome. So it seems like there's a, a real focus uh, on building community, maintaining community here on, on Free Code Camp. Uh, on the website, it mentions different things like meeting up with coders in your city, uh, speaking with folks in real time from community chat rooms. Um, 
Can you talk a little bit about the importance of, of, of why that community exists and, and, and how people tap into it to actually meet up with people local and why would, why would they even would want to? Yeah, well, one of the biggest challenges when you're learning something as large and ambiguous as software development is that it's hard and it's hard to stay motivated. There are so many different things that can happen. Life can get in the way or you can just really get stuck and not be able to progress um, and bang your head on your desk for you know, 20, 30 minutes. And, and at some point, you're going to want to be able to reach out to other people, not just for technical help, like people can help you solve the coding challenge or they can help you pinpoint a bug in your code, but also for the moral support. And the best way to continue progressing through this process of, of learning to code is to hang out with other people who code because th those people keep you pumped and, and moving forward. It's, it's not easy to learn to code. Um, if anybody says it's easy, they're probably a marketer. Um, <laughs> in real life, it takes thousands of hours to get good at it. And we think that with about 12, 1,200 to 2,000 hours worth of uh, coding practice, which is what Free Code Camp provides, um, you can go out and get your first job and then you can basically just get paid to learn to code because it's gonna take you years to really get up there uh, to the level that you're able to confidently and competently build robust software. So, so you mentioned putting uh, certificates on your LinkedIn profile. Are those? Are you talking about the same certificates that people pay thousands of dollars to get? So, uh, there are several different kinds of certificates. There are kinds where it's like a butt in the seat type certificate, where I attended this um, this workshop. Um, for 20 weekends in a row and I got this certificate, so things like that. And, and yeah, those generally cost money. And then there are also certificates that are based purely on performance and like actually completing a task, sitting down and working through uh, a, a series of uh, deterministically tested coding challenges, for example, which is what Free Code Camp is. So uh, yeah, the, I mean, they're completely free. And a lot of people are surprised because, you know, Coursera and edX and a lot of these other programs will charge for certificates. But but that's something like we want Free Code Camp to be completely free. Uh, we're a nonprofit and our goal is to make learning as accessible to everyone, regardless of socioeconomic status, regardless of whether they even have a credit card. And a lot of people out in, uh, you know, sub-Saharan Africa, a lot of people in South Asia don't even have the resources to to pay like a dollar or two for a certificate. Um, they're half the world lives off of two dollars a day, so we want to be accessible to all those people. And actually, a large percentage of the people who use Free Code Camp are, you know, from those countries. So, so how can it be free? Is it um, is it because of the community? Um, how do you do it? So we have a team of just three people, and we have like extremely efficient. Um, servers that we're constantly tuning to get really good performance. Like we're serious about being very capital efficient and we're donor supported nonprofit. So uh, the donations that we're able to uh, take in from people in the community who are either using Free Code Camp or who want to support uh, open source learning, uh, we're able to go a long way with that. So programming, coding, uh, this is really the sort of thing that you never stop learning. It's, you're never just like, I'm done. I know how to code now. I mean, there's always new stuff to do, new languages, uh, languages develop in advance over time. Um, how, how is this going to grow? Are you going to add things like Go and Python and PHP and Swift and all these different languages that come up? Or are you really kind of focused on these like foundational uh, uh, things like HTML and JavaScript and D3? So our goal is to have a single curriculum that everybody can work through that's it's kind of like going up the Appalachian Trail. You can look back and you can see people right behind you going through the exact same thing you did. It makes it really easy for people to help one another and it also creates this kind of uh, common rite of passage. Um, and by having it be very narrow and, and linear, um, that also removes a lot of the ambiguity. So our, our core curriculum is just full stack JavaScript. It's using Node.js. You literally just use JavaScript. You don't need to use Python or Java or any of the other languages. And you can certainly do that. Like all of our projects are language agnostic. So if you want to use those tools, you can. We definitely plan to create interactive coding tutorials for all of those languages you just mentioned. But one thing that we 
want to do is, is keep it focused. Now, already we have a ton of articles. We have a ton of videos on a wide variety of different programming languages, a wide variety of different tools for uh, running servers and everything like that. Um, and we publish new videos and we publish new articles every day. Awesome. This is so great. And so you also, you are a prolific writer on, on Medium and uh, also uh, Free Code Camp has a lot of other writers. Uh, what's going on there? Do you have, uh, is it is it sort of like a magazine on Medium? Yeah. So Medium has what are called publications and basically anybody who writes on Medium can get syndicated in one of the publications. Free Code Camp is the fifth largest publication on Medium. And uh, we are the largest technical publications focused on technology and, and programming. And we publish several articles a day uh, about topics related to primarily software development, design, and data science. So those are our three kind of core topics. And, and we'll also publish, if people build like an open source library that they want to publicize, uh, we can serve as a, a platform for helping publicize that. So I'm the... I'm the only editor for that publication, so I spend a good chunk of my day uh, reviewing all the submissions and, and trying my best to make sure that everything we publish is worthy of our readers' time. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, one of the ways I found you was I, you had, Quincy has a great piece on how to find people in your area to uh, code with, so you can check that out on Medium. Quincy is a teacher, a writer, an editor. You can find him on Twitter, Medium, and GitHub. On Medium and GitHub, he's qu at Quincy Larson. On Twitter, he is Osiah, O-S-S-I-A. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs>